can't be true. Well, that's what I kept telling myself all last night. And all the way home this morning. But I'm here. You know, I'm not dreaming, so it's real. Darling, I am... I'm so sorry. Yeah, me too. Renee, I keep thinking it's my fault. Maybe I did something to push him away. I don't know. I've been so worried about my own problems. Maybe okay, that's what okay, it is. Come on. I am not going to let you start blaming yourself. But something may have changed, didn't it? Maybe it's my family. Maybe all those lords, Buchanan's, maybe they were just a burden on him. Stop it. Sloan loves your children. He's never been intimidated by Asa or any other member of the Buchanan family. Well, what happened? I mean, why did he just all of a sudden stop? Stop loving me. I don't understand it. God, I have so many questions, and I have no answers. And I need to know why. I need to know why. You have to take care of your hotel. I don't mean to come... Hey, 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 I didn't come over here to blubber on you. I really didn't. Come on. Now, I've blubbered on your shoulder sometimes, and it's good to have the tears fall. Sometimes it helps... What is it? Oh. You're right, darling. I have a hotel to run. Yes. Yes. It's none of my business, and I'll leave you alone. Are you all right? Uh, everything's wrong, yeah. Oh, no, Clint, no. I, I, I can't ask you to, to listen to this. I can't. Does it have something to do with your trip to Tidewater? Something to do with Sloan? Does it have something to do with the wedding plans? There are no wedding plans. There's no wedding. Sloan called it off. I don't believe this, uh, this little tale that you're telling us about how you've suddenly decided to leave Vicky and you're going to marry Beverly. To agree with Andrew. Beverly, I'm sorry, but this just doesn't make any sense. Well, you two think what you'd like. I told Vicky the truth. I love Oh, Beverly. just I stop it! Here to stop get it! Blessing. Look, I don't want to hear any more lies, all right? No more! Right. No it's more lies! Me. Just sick of lies. So you, Beverly, look, look, Beverly, look at me. I've known you. I have trusted you all my life. And so I'm depending on you now to tell me the truth. Beverly is my dad. My dad telling the truth here? Huh? Yes or no? I just don't know what to think. I can't seem to make any sense out of it, you see. But I know I have to come to terms with it. He said it, so he, he must mean it. But I don't believe it. I'm sorry, I'm rambling now. Don't apologize. Just... Tell me what he said. What did he say about this Beverly Crane woman? Uh, well, apparently they were uh, uh, in love when they were teenagers. And then they just married other people. And, uh, and now he... And now what? Now he figures he's free? He's engaged. <laughs> no, he's not. Not anymore. I'm sorry. So tell me. Well, there's really nothing much to tell. He just said that now all of a sudden he finds he's in love with her again. I didn't believe him. Not at first, but then she confirmed it. And you believe her? Well, I don't really have any choice, do I? Besides, she's really rather decent, you know. What I cannot understand is that I turned my whole world upside down for him and... 
Oh, I can't say that to you, no. not to you of all people. It's all right. I'm sorry. I can, I can handle it. <laughs> I want you to talk to me. <laughs> It must be killing you not to say it. Go ahead, I'll give you one free shot. At what? <laughs> what is it I'm supposed to say? I told you so. Oh, Vicky. I have absolutely no desire to say anything of the kind. Tempting as the offer might be. The thing is that I, 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 I don't believe it. You see, I think that he was sincere. I think he really loved me. So I guess he just changed his mind, that's all. I feel like such a fool. No way, no how are you a fool. Now, what can I do to help? Oh, Clint. Oh, God, you're so sweet and much too kind. I mean it. I'll do anything in my power to help you through this. And it isn't you. It's Sloan who's the fool, not you. Beverly, I'm waiting. Come on, the truth! You just lower your voice. I told you the truth. No, you didn't. You told me a lie. Fine. Let's assume it's true. Let's assume it's true for just a minute, Beverly. Why don't you tell me how you could do such a thing? You're way out of line. This was not her fault. I'll have to agree with Andrew again. Beverly, this is cruel. Did my dad tell you that his cancer is out of remission? Then I'm gonna have to apologize for my son. He is obviously hey, angry. Hey, 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 that's a simple assumption. After all, hey, you, you didn't have the guts to tell Vicky about it, did you? I thought just maybe you might have neglected to tell Beverly. Did he tell you that's why he went down to Tidewater? Because he couldn't face Vicky and tell, tell her that he was in a new treatment, a new protocol. Why aren't you in the hospital? They don't lock us up, especially when one is getting married. But you said that you were going into an intense chemotherapy and that you would be kept in the hospital. They don't let you out of the uh, hospital unless they're going to stop that treatment. They've taken you off the chemotherapy, haven't they? You mean there's nothing more they can do? Sloan. You have to tell them. You can't break their hearts like this. All right. Well, there have been some complications. All right. Hey, hey. I'm not dead yet. You just never know about some things like this. It's gonna be okay. No, some things don't work out the way you'd like them to. Jeez! Nothing lasts forever. We do go on. Now, sweetheart, I don't want you to start worrying about me. Please. about me i want you to worry about your son will you do that for me promise me that